So when you speak about rail traffic being important for this, uh, I mean, do you think there is a real possibility that people would want to live in Western Massachusetts and commute or have jobs even in Boston or New York City? Like even with higher speed rail, that's still a track. Do you think that's like a reasonable sell? Yeah, of course. Uh, now maybe not New York. Uh, that's that's uh, uh, pretty far, but completely realistic to, to have uh, to have commuting to Boston. Why why not? Frankly, much less advanced countries in Eastern Europe, in Africa, in Asia, uh, in uh, South America have much faster trains and travel people over much longer distances uh, than we do. And quite frankly, my opinion on this is, you know, if Ger Germany right now is in the midst of development of a hydrogen powered train that can go over 100 miles an hour uh, connecting East and West Germany. If Germany, uh, a country that was historically pretty divided between East and West, can build high speed uh, clean powered trains the way they are. Why can't America? Why can't Massachusetts connect eastern and western Massachusetts uh, the same way? So absolutely, I think it's realistic. The other piece to point out is you don't have to only focus on one end to one end. For example, Palmer is a community that would be on the um, on the train route that would benefit tremendously uh, from access to a, to a train stop. They call Palmer the community of seven railroads. They have a long history of rail uh, in Palmer. They're a little closer to Boston. So you could have people commuting from Palmer to Springfield, from Springfield to Palmer, from Palmer to Boston, from Boston to Palmer, all, you know, every which way. And that's what you need to do to create a dynamic system. Um, you know, you're a great statistic. San Francisco, right, the San Francisco Bay Area, is lauded as the tech center for the entire world. Well, the distance from Palo Alto, you know, to downtown San Francisco is about the same as the distance from Providence, Rhode Island to Boston. We're a pretty concentrated part of the country and things are pretty close to each other in New England and in Massachusetts uh, as compared to other regions of the uh, of the country. So that's an advantage to us that we really need to take, that we really need to jump on.